In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And dear brothers and sisters, welcome. As we come together in this holy place to celebrate the sacred liturgy, let us call upon Christ who forgives us our sins and gives us everlasting life. Lord Jesus, you are our treasure. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, we belong to you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, teach us to seek, to knock, to ask, to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us make the glorious song of the angels in heaven. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, the Lord said, the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grave that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. While Abraham's visitors walked on farther toward Sodom, the Lord remained standing close before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were 50 innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the 50 innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find 50 innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again, See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than 50 innocent people Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only 40 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of the 40. Then Abraham said, let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only 30 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but 30 there. Still, Abraham went on. Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than 20? The Lord answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the 20. But he still persisted. Please, let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. 
What if there are at least 10 there? He replied, for the sake of those 10, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism in which you were also raised with him through the faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him having forgiven us of all our transgressions, obliterating the bonds against us with his legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. I tell you, 
Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake for when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, may the Lord give you the gift of peace. On this day, an extraordinary thing happens as we hear Jesus pray. First, his, desi his disciples desire to learn how to pray as John taught his disciples. Jesus is ready to oblige because that's his cousin. He's continuing on in the work, and he teaches them the Lord's Prayer. Simple petitions, but so urgently a part of our daily prayer life that the Our Father should be said every day many times as we go to the Father and ask for what we truly need. But today's lesson is persistence. Keep on doing three things. First, ask, seek, and then knock. Ask, because the Holy Spirit will help us to know what to ask for. Seek, because if we seek after asking, then we will find. And finally, here's the persistence part, ask. Knock, knock, and the door will be opened. We must, in, it's so important to keep on praying. There's that uh, saying, P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. And so today, we continue to be persistent in prayer. And here's something that I think is so important that I, I'm just coming to realize the, the, the power of it. When we ask, when we seek, when we knock, the most important thing to ask for is the Holy Spirit, because the Father wants to give us the Holy Spirit. How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to us who ask them? And if you have God's Spirit, you have everything. God bless you. With great faith and persistence, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accord with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The gospel of Jesus Christ proclaims to the world that God indeed is a father to all who believe in him. Let us ask him for the graces which the church and the world need. For the church, 
May she always proclaim the fatherhood of God, who not only created, but restored us in grace through his holy son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work for peace, may they recognize that belief in God, the merciful Father, is the way to a just and lasting peace in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocation to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, May we never cease to praise God our Father, who looks after us every day of our lives and wants what's best for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you have shown your love for us in so many different ways in our lives, and we are confident that you will answer the prayers of, that we make to you through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know that it belongs to your mighty glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might be the, become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church poured out upon the earth and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Wilton our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Give
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. Everything changed from that moment I found out I was pregnant. Without the Knights of Columbus donating these ultrasounds to the Women's Care Center, I don't think I would have ever have kept my son. I wanted to either put him up for adoption or I was either going to have an abortion. I was still in high school. I was so scared. I was so nervous. But when I saw him, my baby on the ultrasound, and I heard his heartbeat. I remember just falling in love with it. was a tiny little peanut. That's when I'm like, I, I want to keep him. This is my child. So I'm very grateful for getting the opportunity to have and see my son. And just that changed my life completely. Thank you, Knights of Columbus. <laughs>